Hey, I'm Shane with Construction Junkie here at Groundbreak 2019, and right now I'm talking with Mike in the Matterport booth. So Mike, tell me a little bit about Matterport. Thanks for having me, Shane. Uh, so Matterport is a 3D spatial data platform uh, with roots in residential real estate. Um, and we're fairly new to the construction scene. And um, as we apply some of the technology that was used in residential real estate, we're finding great value in a lot of other industries. We serve seven industries in total, and in architecture, engineering, construction specifically, uh, we see great value in the ability to capture, coordinate 3D models, and actually validate information. So I'm talking about anything from high quality 4K imagery to 99% accurate 3D measurements. So the, the transition from residential to construction is, is an interesting one. I think it speaks to the ease of use of the product. Yeah, and so that is our roots. Uh, you heard me mention residential real estate. So I've actually been with the company for about four years now. And so the idea of experiencing a space very quickly and easily um, is something that you know a homeowner, a potential home buyer, could really relate to. I think we've all been in situations where we've gone to a seen a 2D photo and it just doesn't quite do justice. So that same feeling of of what do I have here from an inventory standpoint, what is happening within my space, certainly applies to construction. And I think from the documentation side, you're talking about not just looking at a 3D BIM model, but looking at a a 3D model that provides context to a certain drawing, actually understanding what the images are and uh, applying construction concepts to a spatial data platform. Okay. So with it being easy to use, we know we have to have some hardware to be able to get these these images. So what kind of hardware do you need for this? Is it is it Matterport specific hardware? So that's actually where we first started. And right to the back of me, you'll see our, our Pro 2. The Pro 2 is, uh, is our second iteration of our Pro Series. Um, it has 4K image resolution. And in 2019, well, we started with the theme of hardware ubiquity. So what we mean by this is the ability to use other hardware to actually create 3D models. And how do we do that with other hardware? You're looking at 360 photos, or 360 cameras, excuse me. And because of the data set, when I talk about spatial data platform, because of the amount of data that we host, we have about 2 million 3D models, if you will. We're moving towards digital twin, I think, into 2020. And so when I think of the digital twin, uh, I think of having all of that data within the cloud and being able to actually now guess from a 360 photo what the dimensions and what the 3D model actually is. And so when we think about you know, point cloud creation, you think about measuring a space, uh, photogrammetry has been around for a long time. What we're doing is we're actually using the 360 to not only estimate, but, but give you an idea of measurements in a much faster, more practical way, if you think of the, the idea behind using a, a Ricoh or an Insta360. Okay. So when would I use a 360 camera? When, when would I use the Matterport camera? There's also, a, if I want to get even uh, more detail, there's, a, there's another option, right? Yeah, and so then you're talking about something on the, on the higher end. We just talked about the ones that we have here. We also integrate with the Leica BLK360. So we're in a very large space right here. The idea is use which hardware, depending on what your needs are. And for our customers, we see challenges in speed of capture. We see challenges in man hours being spent on documenting spaces. And the costs associated with that are very high. So thinking of where a 360 comes into play, uh, you know, we tend to see that more in a daily documentation tool. You tend to see that I need a quick understanding, send me the 3D model, uh, you know, maybe there's an electrical run that needs to be looked at. Maybe there's uh, material that's been installed and you need to double check to make sure that it's been installed correctly. When I think of Pro 2, I think of uh, milestone documentation. Milestone documentation uh, in a setting where you, know, you have a, you know, let's say anywhere from five to 10,000 square feet, the ability to capture a space. And so with the Pro 2, you're trading off a little bit of speed, um, but you're getting the 4K quality and you're getting the 99% accurate or within 1% is probably a better way of saying that. The BLK, if we're talking about, well, where would I use a BLK? A BLK is the idea of capturing a much larger environment and capturing a much, I'm, we're actually standing in a, in a big warehouse here. If I wanted to capture this, LiDAR has a much, you know, more powerful range. And so by connecting to that, you can actually get much larger spaces into the Matterport 3D cloud. So accessing a much larger space is now doable because you have hardware ubiquity and we're always looking for, for, for new hardware to integrate with. And the speed of the, the Pro 2 is actually pretty quick. I think the, the specs on the website say 5,000 square feet and 
Was it? Uh, yeah, and so I think with with the Pro 2, if we're talking about speed, and uh, when I think of BLK, that takes about three to five minutes per position. So physically, uh, when we get into capture, we're physically taking it and moving it every three to three to five minutes per rotation. Pro 2 is 18 seconds per rotation. And when you think of the Instas or the 360s that are right behind us, uh, those take about you know less than five seconds. So if we're talking square footage, I'd say 5,000 square feet in 45 minutes. Uh, when I think of Insta, I'd say 5,000 square feet in about 30 minutes. And with that in mind, these are all tools, right? And these are all tools that, uh, depending on your, your situation, depending on what our customers are trying to accomplish, they will use them. And um, I think that kind of sums it up from the speed point of view. It's, it's about us understanding and our customers understanding which tool to use in which situation. Right. All right, so let's take a look at how it works. Absolutely. So when we think about capture, what we're looking at here is actually the Matterport capture application. So this is available on iOS, and we actually made an announcement that we will be, uh, we will have an Android solution uh, moving into, into 2020. And so when I think about what this is for, uh, we're actually using cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration. So when we talk about speed of capture, what I'm going to do now is actually show you one capture of the actual Pro 2 device. Um, the Pro 2 is going to allow you to dimensionalize a space, create a mini-map or a floor plan so that you're a project engineer. Depending on who you are in the product, it's very easy to use the Matterport capture application. So I'm going to press this button right here to show you what that 18-second rotation looks like. So if I press this here, The camera's gonna do a 360 rotation, and what it's doing is it's collecting 3D data points, as well as RGB data, which is color data, and we're actually taking a 4K 360 photo simultaneously. And while that's all happening, you're gonna see what we call a scan position populate right here. So this is actually our booth right here in front of us, and the idea here, the benefit of a cloud-to-cloud registration platform is that we don't require a registration marker. So our AI is actually identifying the spaces and it's actually aligning, excuse me, not spaces, scans, it's aligning the different scan positions together. So if I'm a project engineer, I'm actually building out the space and looking at what looks like a top-down floor plan um, as I continue to move throughout the space. So about every five to eight feet, I'm going to press the button. If I'm using the Rico, I could get probably more like three to five feet. If I'm thinking of the BLK360, uh, you can go as far as 50 to 60 feet in between scan positions. That's due to the amount of data being captured and processed by Matterport. So from here, I would actually press the upload button. It's very simple. Uh, I may want to mark windows and mirrors. But once I upload that, Matterport's Cortex, and this is our, our AI that we continue to talk about more and more, is it's going to automatically stitch this information and create that 3D model. And if we look up here, this would be the end result of the actual Matterport capture application. So what we're looking at, if you see these little circles here on the floor, that's actually where these scan positions are located. So imagine the camera in the middle bracket on that Pro 2 over there as, as basically your, your, your vantage point. So as I continue to move, you can imagine somebody moving the scanner or the Pro 2 throughout the site. And what we're looking at here is the workshop interface. So I think a lot of our customers love this and we go back to residential real estate, which is ease of use. I think owners that are communicating with, whether it's an architect, whether it's a, a you know, project manager, I think that's something that really resonates with them is this ease of use being able to access very, very quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm actually moving throughout the space and you can see things like measurements. This is about an eight foot, one inch beam right here. And then we talk about data. This is the data that you can actually either create yourself or you can tag specific objects. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna go over to the left. So an owner, project manager, whoever is in charge of this particular project may want to look at what we have here as an electrical outlet. So what I can do is I can actually click on this object and I can provide either change orders I can provide instructions, or I can even go as far as sending this out to a subcontractor that may want to uh, bid on the work being done. So anything from measurements, anything from photos, those can all be inserted inside of here, depending on the use case. When I'm actually looking at this space, I want to show you guys a couple other things here. So this is the actual measurement tool. I think it's important to know. So depending on who you are in the project, 
We're not trying to be a laser scanning company. You know, obviously we integrate with, uh, with, with, with BLK. And so you think about measurements as, you know, you see in the industry, very high powered, you know, very expensive pieces of equipment. What this is probably best used for is, you know, understanding openings of doors. You know, how high or how long is this actual beam? Is this HVAC unit or is this electrical too close to my door? Am I gonna have issues with this? And this really provides context to whoever's design it, who's ever building it, and probably whoever owns it. They wanna see these things happening. There's the measurement feature. All I do is click here and I go from space to space. And I understand. Maybe I could fit that equipment through there. Maybe I know um, that you're going to have a, a clash or a situation that uh, is going to be a problem here based on the install. The other feature would be um, highlight reel, and this is something that's super useful for someone that's never used Matterport. Say you're an owner and you want to go straight to the basement. I want to see the foundation. I'm going to click in here, and it's, and it's not going to take me there. And here we are. So if you take a look here, this is actually the basement. I jumped to that through the highlight reel. We're putting this all in the user's hands, whether it's the general contractor in the long run for sustainability, maybe a facilities manager, somebody that needs to understand and provide context to a 2D drawing and really understand something like, what, what is our, uh, you know, is there a crack here? Is there a, uh, an issue in the basement? So can we start to build? I think the idea of having five different people look at this and get value out of it uh, is super important. And, and again, from any device, so. All right, well thank you, Mike. How can we find more information about Matterport? So if you want to get more information, head to matterport.com. Uh, and I think that you'll see a lot of new messaging here going into 2020. And we're excited about the future of Matterport, whether it's integrations, whether it's um, actually implementing our, our artificial intelligence. Uh, and I, I'm really excited about the future with, with other integrations that we're looking at. So check out Matterport, and for more amazing coverage of Groundbreak 2019, check out constructionjunkie.com.